So back in Dragonflight, Lamented Gear came out with Nax along with old Scholomans. This one actually proved to be quite a good gold farm and I really wanted to check this one out for this week, mainly due in part that the Lamented Gear is still selling really well on the auction house as I've been analysing most people's mailboxes. This is actually proving to be quite profitable as I've actually found out quite a few of the rates. So that being said, let us begin. First things first, you will have to do the unlock. This being locked behind a nice little secret and quest chain actually provides a little bit of coverage so everyone can't just farm, 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 farm immediately and as such that gives it a little bit more to the price for that gear. Now, judging by this, you will have to do a few prerequisites, and I actually found Mr. GM's video on it to be quite handy, which I've left in the description, which mean, which will require you to use a toy within the regular Scholomance, and thank you, Callan, because I did not have the toy. That actually saved me a hell of a lot of time because you will have to farm that one up. What we're mainly discussing at this moment in time is the Corrupted Scourge Stones and the Invader Scourge Stones. Now, once you've actually done this entire quest chain to unlock all of the Naxxramas additional gear for Lamented Gear, you'll be able to trade in specific Scourge Stones. These are 10 Invader Scourge Stones, which you can then trade in. These ones come from the main Strath home. By taking out a boss, you gain a Scourge Stone. And as such, you can run that every single hour for 10 times. By doing all of this in one hour for 10 lockouts, you'll roughly get around about five to six. It really does depend if you decide to go to the service entrance after you've done the main entrance as well, but as those dungeons are connected. So you could do that to gain more Scourge Stones. However, that's just one way to repeatably farm up these Scourge Stones. It takes a little bit longer than this method, which is running Naxxramas. When you actually farm up Naxxramas, the first step in farming Corrupted Scourge Stones is in the next Ramus, each time you complete a full run, you'll get around about 15 Scourge Stones, as you'll gain one Scourge Stone per boss. Much like how Strathholm is run, you can gain those Scourge Stones from there. But these Scourge Stones are a one-to-one -one ratio. A typical run takes around about 20 to 30 minutes, depending on whether you've got speed increases or anything to that effect, as I ran it on all 11 of my characters that I could run it on and that was my totaled average is between 20 to 30 minutes It really does depend on your speed Remember you can only complete next Ramus once per week per character to maximize your gold making potential It's best to run this raid on as many alts as you possibly can and as such with those 15 scourge stones after finishing your run and collecting the 15 Scourge Stones, head over towards Zacharit Skull Smash. Once you've actually completed Naxxramas, he and the quest chain as well, he'll actually be just standing in the center of where you actually just portal in and you can just give in your Scourge Stones as such. You can then trade the Scourge Stones for dented Raider helmets or any of the dented sets. This can be the shoulders, this can be the chest pieces, uh, an array of different sets. I chose the helms for my initial testing purposes, which then I went on to do shoulders at the same time. The exchange rate for Scourge Stones is three Scourge Stones per helmet, or so with 15 stones, you'll receive five dented Raider helmets per character out of your 15 Scourge Stones for doing next Ramus. So you'll be able to get five pieces that could be a lamented gear. Once you have the dented Raider helmets, you can then clean them to reveal the head slot items from Kalimdor or Eastern Kingdoms. This can be anything from Eastern Kingdoms or Kalimdor, which is really handy as it could actually be a rare transmog piece as well. However, what we're mainly going for is going for those lamented gear. And now based on past results, for every 16 dented helmets that I received, you'll get around about two Lamented Crusader helmets, which are extremely valuable for selling on the auction house. The Lamented Crusader helmets can fetch a high price on the auction house. Right now, they're selling for around 85,000 gold each. So if you get two Lamented helmets from your 16 dented helmets, that's a potential profit of 170,000 gold. So now let's just break this down into a gold per hour notion. 
Since Next Ramus takes around about 20 to 30 minutes, you can run about two to three characters per hour. Each character brings in around about 53,749 gold on average, assuming that you get the 0.63 Lamented Crusader helmets from cleaning those dented helmets. So this is a factor of RNG right there. If you run multiple alts, here's your potential gold per hour. For running three alts per hour, it's roughly around about 160,000 gold per hour. And running six alts across two hours can net you around about 322,000 gold per hour for that. So to maximize your profits, to make sure to run it efficiently I would highly suggest anything that will give you a speed increase so let's just jump in towards the game and I can show you everything with that so here's my lamented gear that I've got at this moment in time and if you can see that the lamented crusader helmets are going for around about 85,000 gold the auction house sell rate on this is 0.067 which is better than most transmogs mainly due in part that this goes for a decent chunk of gold overall so this is getting very close to the 0.1 sell rates which is a bog standard for pretty good selling so i'm not going to be holding on to these for very long i'll be able to sell them on relatively fast it's about a 0.2 average daily sold so if we just think about it in about a week to two weeks you're going to sell those lamented helmets with the lamented crusader spoilers now for 30 minutes of actually farming up this stuff for the shoulders the helmets and just getting an array of all those sets you'll be able to actually gain a decent chunk of gold overall now i'm actually going to add this into my gold making routine and do this quite regularly on the weekly as this is already locked out i'm already looking into leveling while gathering trash mobs and all that stuff so i'll be gaining more alts as i speak and for 20 to 30 minutes to actually just complete this raid and then gain a lamented piece 100k for a shoulder piece that takes me around about 30 minutes and I'm still able to get all the other additional things from Nax Ramus. This works out quite well as I'm a long term player when it comes towards in the auction house so I'm happy to wait for things to sell. With those sell rates being at like 0.08 for the Crusader Spolders, it's getting really close to those high end selling items and as such that means they're going to sell faster than conventional transmog this is why i'm really liking this at this moment in time if we go into the auction house right now we can have a look at lamented we can have a look at all the other ones as you can see right now they're all currently roughly on my server getting close to 100k in general if we just wanted to just make a rough average for that now 100k for a piece and by running a couple of alts per hour to two to three alts per hour depending on their speed i'll be able to actually get a couple of crusader helmets which is very very close for that gold per hour rate of 160,000 gold per hour that's not too bad i can't really complain and as such if you actually complete and keep stockpiling every single piece so if we have a look the braces obviously sell the least but if you've got w one of everything on the auction house most people generally when they're going to get these upgrades to their transmog they'll buy the whole set in one go the majority of the time and that's because they want the entire set they just don't want one piece and that is how I generally sell my transmog is I go with the sets I get a set and then I sell that on the auction house because the majority of the time if someone's buying like the glorious set they'll m most likely buy out the entire set and then they've got the whole glorious set instead of just the leggings it just makes sense in that sense and it's never failed me in that in overall and also as a side note it actually does space things out so that you've got one of every item and then just keep stacking on top of that so you've got two of every item three of every item and then using that on the weekly basis with your alts for only a few uh, 20 to 30 minutes it works out quite nicely for generating regular gold judging by looking at some people's mailboxes who are on the discord and all that stuff with lamented gear lamented gear sells really really well so it's a good way in order to generate gold because at this moment in time all you need to do is just sell three pieces of lamented gear so that's like one week of doing all my alts 
I've now got my WoW token for the month and I can just pay for my sub and then any additional gold throughout the given weeks actually adds to that and then I'll be able to gain a ton of gold through that. It's a very standard and bog standard way. I wanted to revisit this as no one's really talking about it anymore and as such because of War Within gold prices are dropping on the herbs and mining and all that stuff I'm looking into other additional ways in order to generate more income and or gold that is a bit more stable at this moment in time and because those lamented gear have been around for quite a while it just makes sense in order to double down and have a look at those types of markets that are actually doing quite well so this transmog piece of market sells faster than most other transmogs goes for a higher value and it can be done really easily. The only prerequisite is unlocking the Naxxramas and the old Scholomance dungeon. That being said, I've just done another update on my overview of the current market states and my best professions at this moment in time that are really working for me for crafting and that one's over in the Patreon as well. Other than that, have an awesome one and I shall see you in the next video which will be soon. Mm -hmm.